So I play varsity volleyball. I'm the president of Interact Club. I'm part of student council. I do all the mics and the soundboard for theater. I'm a part of NHS, yearbook, and art club. My name is Ella O'Brien. I'm in. I'm a senior, and I go to Avon High School. I think I view myself a little bit of everything. I do what I can and what I like, and try to make things, do things to the best of my ability. So. If I'm focusing on school, I'll try to be the best student that I can be. Or if I'm in art club that day, it's like, oh, I want to make this enjoyable for the kids that are there. My older sister, she was always like, she was number five in her class, so she kind of got that school drive into me. I was like, okay, well, it's worth doing. Your grades are important and stuff. But other than that, it's just my parents always taught me like, you gotta do your best. Always try your best no matter what happens. I remember in elementary school, we would do, I think they were like Monet paintings, and it's like watercolor, and then we put rock salt on it, and I just thought that was so cool. Other than that, like I've just been taking art like as long as I can remember. I like, like I just like having a creative like out, outlet, like I'm working so diligently like in all my classes the rest of the day, it's kind of nice to get a break, and also like I can put myself into these projects instead of just being like, Oh, I'm writing about history, I'm writing about this. It's like myself. I made this painting and it took me probably the whole first quarter. I worked every class for 10 weeks and then I'd take it home and do like an hour or so. But it was a self-portrait and it was broken into squares. It was based off of a guy, he had like, he had something that like stopped his movement. So it was his new way to paint. And I just thought it was so like innovative. And I'm not very good with drawing faces, so I thought it was really cool. And I'm really proud of that one. A couple weeks into my self-portrait, I was working on like the face area, like the nose, and I was just like, this looks awful, this looks so bad. But my friends are always very encouraging, like, no, it actually doesn't, you're just looking at it. So I always, I can just move on to a different part, and Miss Patterson is a big part in not letting me give up and stop working on it. Or at least not give up, but be discouraged. In art, I'm working on my surrealism project, <laughs> which, is my cat, my cat Finn, laying in a flamingo inner tube in a pool. So it's just very like random out of the blue, but it's sometimes like, especially after my last project was so detailed and time intensive, it's just something fun to relax and go to school, work on. So um, we're the youth organization of Rotary, and basically we just focus on service and helping our community and communities all across the world. So. We do a lot of service projects, like today at our meeting we're making Valentine's Day card for the elderly at the nursing home. And we just kind of want to help people out in any way that we can. We have so many things that a lot of people take for granted, and then there's other people that don't, and it's just awesome to see like, the impact that we can have. It's very like rewarding, especially when you can see like, it pay off like, right in front of your eyes. It's like rewarding in the sense that like, I got that done, but also in the way it's like, I helped someone today. I made someone's day, even if it's just like a little thing, like I made someone's day brighter. We have this ability to help, we might as well use it. I love taking photos. Like if there's a soccer game that night, I'll be like, I have a camera, I'll take camera one. Like I'll go. I just think it's so fun to be like in the action and taking photos of it and like documenting it. We always want like action shots and like candy shots. So anything. Like if it's like a soccer game, like someone shooting or the goalie saving or something. But I also love to get like people, like reactions. Like if someone scores a goal, it's like the whole team's cheering. Like that's just like those authentic moments that like everyone's watching, but no one's really like acting and like it's all just real. I just kind of see it as I'm only here in high school for four years and I only have these opportunities once. And if you have that opportunity, you should use it. So. It's like, especially with Interact, it's like I could go home and do something, but if I could make someone else's day a little better or a little brighter, I could do something to help someone, then why not do it? There's no reason not to.